Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So yeah, I uh, read through the patch notes of patch 1.2.12, the patch containing Grok that was uh, like recently put out on the advanced server. And uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff in here guys that I think you guys are probably gonna like. So first off, we have some information about Grok. You already know this, I did a video on him. He's freaking amazing. What? What? Why is it loading? <laughs> what is this? But yeah, his uh, cost is 32,000 battle points. In diamonds, it's 600 diamonds or 599 diamonds with 30% diamonds off the first week. And there's some lore about him as well. I um, I don't know if I'm gonna read that or not. Right, not right now, anyways. We have some information about the Panda Warrior Akai, which is a remake of the entire hero, not just a remodel, but a full-on remake. They've changed everything, they changed every animation, the model, and the abilities as well. And I don't know what I think about this, like the new Akai is cool, but I like my panda the way my panda is, right? So yeah, we then have some new free weekly hero and new skin stuff. This is one of the most interesting parts so far. You can see here like, yeah, okay, weekly free heroes, blah blah blah, who cares. Then we have this thing here. Clint skin, full metal. I've never heard of this skin before. It's gonna be a September Starlight exclusive skin. And I really wanna see some pictures on this skin right now. Like, I don't know this. I I did not expect th expect this at all. But a new skin for Clint is coming out, guys. And holy crap, I'm excited for this. But yeah, we then have some hero adjustments. Nana is now totally different. Her passive used to be nimble, but now it's Mr. Cat's gift. And basically what this passive does is every 10 seconds it drops 10 gold for you and everyone close to you in your team. I mean, 100 gold in 100 seconds. I mean, it's not it's not a lot, but I mean, it's something at least. It, it may help. I don't know. I'm going to look at it later see how good it actually works but anyways we then have some changes to her magic dart enemies hit will also be slowed from now on so um, try not to be hit by nana's magic dart i don't know why it's called a magic dart it's a freaking boom right but try not to be hit by nana's first ability because it's gonna slow you now as well some changes to alucard area of effect indicator change from four to five on fission wave Fission? Fusion? Fission? Yeah, I, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, so basically, I guess it's a longer range. I don't know. Irithel. Heavy crossbow. When activated, skill will first select the frontal direction instead of the enemy's direction. So, yeah, you're gonna have to aim more, I guess. They changed Clint as well. Howitzer. Optimized recharge time from 12 seconds to 10 seconds. So, a buff to Clint, really really nice. Tigreal skin, Dark Knight model adjustments, so yeah we can see here. I think the only thing they've actually changed on this is like some effects, like you can see on the shoulder there he has like some sort of energy pattern flowing and like uh, I can't really see anything, anything else. If there's anything you see that they've changed then please tell me in the comments below. I, I guess I, I just never see the skin so that may be why but I don't know. Anyways, there's also some changes to his ability Sacred Hammer, adding more natural animations for after skill cast, fixing the issue of effect not full showing fully. So, yeah, there's not really much more in these things. I mean, there's some battle skill and equipment adjustments. We can see here optimized jungle equipment, added Clock of Destiny, multiple layered red buff display. Uh, I. I don't so I guess Clock of Destiny has, like, a buff display now, which is really nice. Iron Wall. Increase the amount of surrounding enemies damage are weakened by 5 to 10%. That's nice, that's nice. Some battlefield adjustments. Slightly increase the jungle monster. Ghost Mage Pursuit Distance. I don't really know which one the Ghost Mage is. I, I think it's this one, but I'm not sure. Optimized Hero Locking in effect. And also we got a brand new lord guys, holy crap, this lord, damn guys, this lord is so freaking cool, like honestly I love this lord, he's so freaking amazing, 
Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's just freaking amazing. I just love the new Lord. We then have some system system adjustment. P Players who have reached level 20 can now send friends skins by tapping on the skin store pop-up. Optimized draft picks mode, ban and pick, process notification, I, I don't even really know what that means. Every rank now has a different color, also added new ban phase icons, added formation colors for hero selection, added an effect, added an active effect for the current choosing player. Length and ban and pick time by 35 seconds, so you have 35 more seconds to decide which one you want to ban. Streaming now has pick and ban process for ranked mode and arena contest. Custom draft pick mode. Uh, oh, that is already in the future. <laughs> Optimized spectator mode, locked hero notification for hero death. So you, uh, I guess you don't need to be locked on a hero when you die when you spectate, which is nice. Added more readability for in-game announcements, that's pretty cool. Enlarged Thai language, character size, oh well, just some text fix and some bugs fix. But anyways guys, that's it for the patch notes. I really hope you like this. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below about what you think. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.